Marriage Guidance Council. Malcolm and Barbara Harris have been married for nearly 15 years. They've got two children, Gary, aged 13, and Andrea, who's 11. During the last couple of years, Malcolm and Barbara haven't been very happy. They argue all the time. Barbara's sister advised them to go to the Marriage Guidance Council. There is one in most British towns. It's an organisation which allows people to talk with a third person about their problems. This is their third visit, and Mrs Murray, the counsellor, always sees them. Ah, come in, Barbara. Take a seat. Is your husband here? Yes, he's waiting outside. He didn't want to come here this week, but, well, I persuaded him to come. I see. How have things been? Oh, much the same. We still seem to have rows all the time. What do you quarrel about? What don't we quarrel about, you mean? Oh, everything. You see, he's so inconsiderate. Go on. Well, I'll give you an example. You know, when the children started school, I wanted to go back to work again, too. So I got a job. Well, anyway, by the time I've collected Gary and Andrea from school, I only get home about half an hour before Malcolm. Yes? Well, when he gets home, he expects me to run around and get his tea. He never does anything in the house. Mm. And last Friday, he invited three of his friends to come round for a drink. He didn't tell me to expect them, and I'd had a long and difficult day. I don't think that's right, do you? Barbara, I'm not here to pass judgment. I'm here to listen. Sorry. And he's so untidy. He's worse than the kids. I always have to remind him to pick up his clothes. He just throws them on the floor. After all, I'm not his servant. I've got my own career. Actually, I think that's part of the trouble. You see, I earn as much money as he does. Malcolm, I'm so glad you could come. Hello, Mrs. Murray. Well, I'll be honest, Barbara had to force me to come, really. Does it embarrass you to talk about your problems? Yes, it does. But I suppose we need to talk to somebody. Barbara feels that you... Well, you resent her job. I don't know. I would prefer her to stay at home, but she's very well qualified, and I encouraged her to go back to work. Now the kids are at school, she needs an interest, and I suppose we need the money. How do you share the housework? I try to help. I always help her to wash up, and I help Gary and Andrea to do their homework while she does the dinner. But she doesn't think that's enough. What do you think? I'm not here to give an opinion, Malcolm. I think we're both too tired, that's all. In the evenings, we're both too tired to talk. And Barbara, she never allows me to suggest anything about the house or about the kids. We always have the same arguments. She's got her own opinions and that's it. Last night we had another row. She's forbidden the kids to ride their bikes to school. Why? She thinks they're too young to ride in the traffic, but I think they should. She always complains about collecting them from school. But you can't wrap children in cotton wool, can you? <laughs>